Hello guys, welcome to Lance Fantasy Gaming. Uh, this is going to be the preview for May, what May is going to have out. We'll have more STL video when I come back from California. Um, yes, I'm clean cut, clean shave. Uh, heading to California for a week and uh, I, won't, I won't be having my videos out. The painting video is already uh, got scheduled for this week. Got a speed painting and got the normal painting video as well. And uh, we'll see some stuff that we got for May. For May, we got Lord of Prince. We got their previews right now. Uh, look more of horror, I believe, as well. Um, I'm getting this Fear of the Old Gods. So this will be pretty good for my Dark Souls campaign next month, or this end of this month that we're going to have it pretty soon. So this is uh, pretty cool looking right now. Um, yeah, this. We got the the arachnoids arms that have hand, actual humanoid hands in the end. So that's kind of very interesting uh, for that matter as well. And uh, yeah, grotesque old god. I kind of like Cthulhu vibe, so that's pretty cool, I guess. I'm not gonna look at all of them, but some of them we got a lot more to look at. Just letting you know. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, like, and share, and check out our Patreon as well. Uh, if you want to support the channel, if not, keep, hit, uh, give us a like as well. And uh, some of these are pretty good to have. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to paint. I'm probably going to stop painting stuff after um, before I leave California, and I got to paint a lot of stuff. I need to buy an actual bookshelf. Uh, just one for now, I believe, and work away uh, from there as well. Um, see what we got yeah this is uh like the thing from the thing if the dragon took over it so it is going to be pretty cool looking okay let's see what's next uh it's april release file june 22nd this is avatar i think this could be the looks like the dark necron and uh, dark eldar uh, the uh dark eldars um Prince, if you do Warhammer, um, go Avatar of Wars. Uh, I'm not really much of a Dark Eldar kind of guy. 3D Dark Guy, um, half figurine. So we have Shishar, Cat, and Alice on top. So that's going to be pretty good. It'd be like Ludi Alice holding a rabbit. Then we got Lilith from Diablo 4 when it comes out. And let's see what's next. I think I know there's a few more. We have from Elden Ring. I might actually print this out. I am going to probably uh, take a picture of this, send it to my friend. Just give me a sec. Because I know he likes, he, my friend likes Elden Ring more than I do. So. All you gotta do is buy resin, and I'll print it for us. Not really a big Elden Ring guy, but I repeat the game, and it, it's pretty fun. Uh, what else? Uh, this is going to be that's the. If you want to get the code, go get the code off my thing because I, I really don't care. This is warp miniature, zombies. We got plenty of zombies, so I don't need that. Uh, this is a loyalty one for, I believe, Titan Forge. I'll probably end up getting because I pretty much got them once every single month for that as well. This is Nova. Instead of doing the vampires and ghouls. Oh, I think they're just ghouls. I might get this because I don't have enough ghouls. Um, ghouls are good to have. Especially if you have an undead uh, type as well. And uh, let's see, here we go Lance Crosses, Thiefling. It's May. I already skipped this. This is May, actually, for uh, Dwarven Terrain. And this is fun for May. So, yeah, we get some ter terrains. I'm surprised that the door they didn't put dwarves out. But yeah, if you want to do that, go for it. This is for DM Stash uh, for May Steel Pack just released. It's called Fire and Wind, Fire and Wind, I believe. 
That's the welcome pack. This is what it comes with. Here's some of the stuff. These are pretty cool. I will get this. They actually create a beautiful model. Uh, we have the ant. Some dwarven stuff. Gunslingers and stuff as well. So this is pretty good to have, I would say. But if you're interested on it, DM Stash. Uh, this is April final rendering. I don't know if this is going to be uploaded in a few hours. Okay. I know a lot of stuff is going to be out to a few more days. I know it's like May 1st over here. We got more dwarves and Wolverine dwarves, if you want to do Wolverine. And this is from the Lord of the Ring stuff as well. If you want to do the uh, Lord of the Ring campaign, Clay. This is a wrap, folks. You can use for Age of Sigmar if you really want. This here we got that. This is my release. I don't really like there. They just look too cartoonish, like for print and paint. Sometimes they do good ones, but. Another Elden Ring set from Village Hope. I believe she's taking a break during May. I don't know for a fact, but this will be out for June. If you want to do Elden Ring type or Dark Soul type campaign, and here you go. Let's see here. Uh, eons. There we go. Dwarves. If you want to like Asgard. I have too many damn dwarves. I don't need any more freaking dwarves. So I didn't get Asgard last month. So. What a Suba Walada Studio. You like to get a figurine of that? You can. And these are images. The goddess. I'll be getting that as well. That's a Warforge Mage, Sailor Girl. So this is like I think the Sailor Girl type thing they want to try and get, get into a uh, make of minis of. So it's going to be kind of funny to do. Um, but yeah. Second. Cat Girl. I like that one right there. Dryad with making Stone Armor. But yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Oriental style as well. I would like to have that. That's uh, Fantasy. I'm trying to make this under like 10 minutes uh, because I just need video for this following week so that I don't have to worry much about anything as well. Uh, for June, I have these two figures. I already, got, I already ordered that. Um, this is RN Studio Final Fantasy. You got Yuna right there, Cloud, uh, no, Titus, some from nine as well. This is from 13. That's a uh, iron, iron golem boss right there. That's really cool. Royal Guards, a lot of Studi girls you must have and must print for your game. For May, we're having uh, wolves, looks like it. Morgan, I guess. This will be pretty cool to have. I am going to have to make space for a lot of my prints. It is, um, this is the May preview with the big manta ray. The Captain Sea Leg. So I'm thinking Undead Pirates. That will be work uh, that we're doing. I might end up getting this. Uh, they do, um, hopefully their uh, prints are pretty good. We've got the Tegus on a Chocobo. <laughs> but we don't have enough Tegus. More Tegus, the better. Like if you get more of a race with different looks and stuff, I think it's more of a uh, bonus for the game as well. Uh, Takasaku is released. Uh, if you already received your three month gift, you have to wait plus a uh, three month gift. Uh, that's April. But let's see what else we got. 
which is May more dwarves. It's samurai and blacksmith thing. Oh, it's an oriental thing. Oh, it's pretty cool. I might get this too. Shrine maiden. The crane, samurai crane. That is pretty cool to have. Have a little samurai, uh, the swan or crane race. This is going to be, I think, being this month, Vision and Wanda. Wanda Vision. <clears throat> this is for May, uh, May Beastarium. I got Minotaurs. Female Minotaurs. Grotesque looking Minotaurs. That look pretty cool. We don't have a lot of Minotaurs, but we don't have like a lot of cool, like, I always like Beast, Beastarium. They, they make pretty good models. Yeah, and this is also why I also wanted to parts, bits and parts of it for the game. Very dark, it's supposed to be dark and grimy as well. So it should be good. So this should be a good game to play. And the head, chopping the head off the Minotaur, death one. So this will be pretty cool too. A lot of prints. I'm in the, I end up might getting a bigger printer. So this was April. And this is what we got. Well, once after a week, there'll be more STL files I will look through for you guys. It's just that this is the first of the month. Uh, not a lot has been coming out. I wish they do. Uh, this is also a main one to get too. Even though it's dwarves, I just want those flying blimps. I think those will be really cool for Warhammer Age of Sigmar and also for the game as well. Well, anyhow, guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. If you do enjoy the video, give it a like as well. Put down in the comments if you want to see more of the STL files, particular Patreon STL files you want me to look at. Leave it down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.